For decades now, there have been people trying to figure out what the best meal plan actually is. But yet somehow to this day, there is still not a clear winner. So today, I'm personally going to be putting it to the test. Over these next two weeks, I'm going to be filming a two-part series where I personally test two of the most popular eating plans out there, the carnivore diet and a plant-based diet. This week, we begin part two of the series where I test out the plant-based diet. Some of you might be sitting here asking yourself right now, Carson, what's the plant-based diet? Well, essentially, while doing the plant-based diet, here are the only things that you can eat. You can eat any food that comes from a plant, such as fruits, veggies, grains, oats, meaning you cannot eat any meat, sugars, processed foods whatsoever. It's going to be very, very hard to get any protein in from just plant. But there's a few little tricks I have up my sleeve. Many scientists have claimed for this to be the best diet plan, but today we're going to be finding out for ourselves if it lives up to the hype. So this is just amazing. Instead of like a normal little snack, I would normally eat, I'm eating an avocado today. Today. Avocado for a snack. Gotta get some sort of protein in. These are actually really good protein, believe it or not. These are the snack for the day. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the end of day one. Let's freaking go. We only got six more days of this. Currently, my energy levels are negative 14. To be honest with you, I am feeling like trash. I don't know, the food is just so plain, bro. Like, I just want some protein. I think that's the reason I'm feeling so crappy is just no protein in me whatsoever. Like, obviously, there's some protein in me, but like some good hearty protein, you know what I'm talking about? Like, give me some chicken or something. I'm really craving meat. Last week, I was burnt out from meat. But this week, mm. chicken pot stickers. I'm gonna make those. Nope. No, I'm not. I'm not making no chicken pot stickers. That's against my diet. But so far, it's not too horrible. The food's all right. A lot of salads I'm eating. I probably could spice it up in some way, but I'm not a chef. Like the freak, I'm gonna wake, whip up some ratatouille or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just some freaking average stuff I'm eating. Um, I'm hitting my workout right now, so let's see how this goes. Like I'm feeling it in my shoulders. I might not have warmed up enough and I'm freezing, but it's a little fishy, I must say. Oh, I'm done. I made it through, holy freak me. That workout took about 20 minutes longer than normal. Oh, that was a freaking burner. But I will say the pump is insane. It's kind of wearing off now because I just did my finisher, which was forearms and traps. So my back pump's going away, which is what I did, but it's pretty good, bro. I'd say better than a normal day, which is it the plant-based diet I ate today? The world may never know, but you know what, either way, I'm not gonna complain. My favorite part of every single night, coming up here when everyone else is asleep and getting me my second dinner of the night. Oh, look at this spinach right here, how appetizing. Some spinach and mushrooms. I think it'll go mentally insane. Day two, we are in the exact same place we left off in last night. Crazy how that works. Uh, I'm doing a morning workout today, like some balls, but. We're gonna see it through. I will say, however, normally I am not a morning person whatsoever. I freaking hate the mornings and I'm all dead in the mornings. I'm like literally fighting for my life. This morning though, I actually feel pretty good for it being a morning. We'll see if the workout goes good too. I'm imagining it will because I feel pretty good. I'm guessing similar to yesterday where I'm all drained, but the pump's nice, which you know what, I'll take what I could get. But yeah, so far I'm not really too mad about this. I'm feeling pretty good. Interesting. Workout complete, pump. You can't really tell if this line is after cheeks, but pump is pretty good again, bro. It's very interesting. I don't know why the pump is so good on this diet. Maybe because I'm used to eating a bunch of crap and feeling like crap. But overall, the workout did feel pretty freaking hard again, I will say. But you know what? If the pump's nice, that's all that matters to me. So one thing I'm noticing insanely, and I don't know if this is normal or not, it might be normal, is I am not staying full for very long at all. I think I might need to be eating a little bit more bread and stuff. I'm trying to lean very hard into like the super vegan vegetarian where it's like all plants, fruits and stuff. But honestly, if I stay like this, I don't know if I'm gonna survive. So I think I'm gonna have to start leaning a little bit more into like bread 
bread and stuff like that to keep me full. But like I ate lunch two hours ago. I'm starving. I could eat a full freaking steak right now. It sounds delicious to be honest with you. But that's the biggest thing I'm noticing. Overall though, my brain fog is doing really good. Like I have hardly any brain fog. I'm staying focused really good. I have a lot of energy. So I'm loving that. But I to stay full, I'd have to be eating 24 seven, which isn't really feasible. They're just so low calorie. So I can't get in enough calories in a quick enough amount of time in order to actually get in all the calories I need and stay full. It's like literally I would have to be eating all the time. It's just such light food. You know what I'm saying? I might be doing it wrong. There might be stuff out there that's like a super dense meal, but I'm kind of just doing this off the top of my head. I'm not looking at recipes or anything. So I might be doing myself dirty. So hopefully I make it out of here live. <laughs> Dinner is served, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir, ski. We got breakfast for the day. <laughs> we got a little wheat bread action. Healthy as a mofo. Mm, I'm real healthy, boy. Yes, sir, ski. Made by this beautiful woman. <laughs> making making me my supper. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even that good for real. Ski, that was the best thing I've freaking eaten on this diet. That was magnificent. Dog. You will never believe what freaking happened to me last night. So listen, I'm driving home, right? It's like 10 p.m. I got to get up early for jujitsu the next day. So I'm ready for a nice, good bedtime. You know what I'm saying? I'm driving. It's just a clear day. It's just a little cloudy. Next thing I know, downpouring snow. Snow coming from all directions. I can literally not see two feet in front of me when I'm driving. All of a sudden, cars started sliding off the road. It was insanely slippery. I'm like, what the frick is happening right now, right? So I keep driving up. Next thing you know, oh, what the frick? I'm stuck. So I'm, I'm trying to get back to my house. I'm so close. I'm sitting there for like four minutes trying to get out. My car's good in the snow. It's all-wheel drive. Like, it's pretty nice. I'm not going nowhere. All of a sudden, like, it's God's hand. I look behind me, snow plow. He goes around me, so I back up into his tracks. Boom, I'm on the road again. So there's two different ways to get to my house. One way, it's hecka steep. So I'm like, I'm not going that way, dog. So I go the long way that's downhill. So I'm going, it's like, I can't see crap still. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't see anything. Next thing you know, I'm back at the steep hill, meaning I passed my house because I couldn't see it and I'm stuck on a steep hill. I get down there, there's a truck trying to pull the dude out. I don't know what the frick was happening, bro. It was freaking insane so now i'm walking to my car hence what this whole story is happening this has nothing to do with plant-based diet but i just thought it was interesting <laughs> but here's my car stuck here in the side it was kind of fun bro it's like tokyo drifting in this john look how much snow is in my tire or my wheel well holy frick long time no see my brother end of the day today honestly today was a bit of a rough one i was a little bit busier today so i wasn't able to get as many meals in as usable so i have been absolutely freaking starving so that's a little bit brutal but overall i'm surviving i feel good in the mornings which is weird for me but as the day goes on it just gets worse and worse the food is horrible too it's just absolutely rancid but we're getting close I just gotta see it through. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Final day of the challenge. I'm trying a little something new out today. It's a meal prepped. It's like a rice, vegetable, and plant-based chicken meal. I'm terrified of plant-based chicken. I can't lie to you. I am absolutely terrified. But who knows? What if this is absolutely game changer for me? I'm feeling very good today. High energy. I did get a lot of sleep last night though, so that could be it. I'm freaking hungry. All right, baby, moment of truth. Try this puppy out. I'm so scared of this chicken, I can't even lie. This is good though, hold on, look at this. Mmm, yummy. Let's see what this boy all about. Mmm, wait, hold up. Bro, that's good. That's really good. Mmm, no vegetable? Hot, but mm, mm, dude, I should have been doing this all along. Holy crap. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the plant-based diet and the finale of our diet series is complete. This is crazy, bro. Lots and lots of updates for you. I have a clear winner in my books, clear winner. So those of you who have seen both videos, I want you to go ahead and go down in the comments and let me know which one you think won and which diet made me feel better overall and what one I would choose out of the two for me personally. Now remember, both of these, actually all diets in general, I feel like they are very based towards you as an individual individual, what you like eating, your lifestyle, everything like that. So you can't judge which diet plan you're going to choose off of what I select. With both diet plans, I did end up losing a little bit of weight, which I guess is valid. I'm not eating as much unhealthy stuff, which is high calorie. So it's a little bit harder to get your calories in. That being said, the plant-based diet was much easier to eat. I will say. Surprisingly enough, I was expecting carnivore diet to be way easier, but at the end of the day, I felt a million times better on the carnivore diet. 
The carnivore diet was a clear winner for me. Would I do it? Probably not unless I needed to lose a little bit of weight, but I think a good combination of both is probably the sweet spot for me where I'm able to get a little bit more calories in while still getting the benefits from the high protein, super lean meats that I'm taking in as well. So this was a super fun little challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see something similar to this, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see where I went 86 hours, 86 hours without eating, check out this video here. I'll see you next time. Peace.